that's true. Okay, then uh, let's start the game for the most amazing people in the world. This is, of course, you, the Back to Warcraft audience. And this is Shriek versus DNA. This is Lost Temple. And this is one of the replays of the year, 2007. And we'll start it in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so the way you've been talking about Shriek, I assume he's a really passive human with a lot of towers and possibly even tanks. But since we're seeing an orc opponent, I'm at least hoping... He's not going to be playing tanks, but well, I, I guess I guess we're going to see. Of course, Lost Temple is not being played today anymore, the classic Blizzard map. But yeah, it's really large, with a lot of gold mines, with a lot of spots to creep, and usually games tend to go long on this map, and uh, well, this being one of the replays of the year on Lost Temple, I assume it's going to take some time. Yep, so if you don't want to see the very early game of uh, uh, the game so then go to the fridge and the cooler and grab some beer and grab some 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 chips or something to eat because this is gonna last a while farseer first hero by dna i think he is a bulgarian player um from the clan evo play back in the day they, they played in wc3l i believe dna not that bad uh played some wcgs in 2000 and Five, six, seven, maybe. That was his time. Um, I always Clear wondered why attack. were there so many good Bulgarian players, like Diddy Eight, Insomnia. Yeah, those were the else. two big ones. Yeah. Um, I think those are the only two I would remember. By the way, Farseer first, which is really cool. But well, I don't know Bulgaria. Maybe you know, pro gaming was a real alternative there, career path-wise, like uh, Ukraine ah. today has so many good players because they can afford to try to make a living from gaming whereas in Germany it's uh, not really an, uh, a possibility. Yeah, I think Bulgaria was the first l uh, country in Europe that um, saw eSports e e as an official sport. A player's forces are under yeah, that's nice, you know, the recognition, but I yeah. think uh, money is something you have to take into consideration if you want to put all your time into it. Alright, so uh, harassment is beginning here, and he's definitely delaying the expansion by quite a bit. Has, however, not killed anything so far. But the Archmage needs to be kind of careful, he's low on hit points, so is Farseer, however. And of course, this is the disadvantage with a Farseer. Getting the last hits of the creeps is really difficult, whereas with the Blade Master, of course, it's uh, quite a bit easier. Yes. Of course, the worst uh, starting position possible for Shriek here, very sh uh, short path from the orc base to the human expansion and he's seeking for these uh, damaged peasants and he's chasing the arc mage with the wolf so nice uh, nice harassment here by Shriek and as we mentioned before the wolves give not as many XP points than they do today so it's not that bad to lose them but he summons new ones to uh, steal the XP from Shriek here. A very nice move by DNA. And the expansion is still not up. Um, new peasants being called, more footies being built. And tier 2 tech by DNA. Alright, so he has three grunts here. That's quite a bit of army to work with. I would have loved to see him build this shop inside his main between the two bases. So he can uh, grab those healing selves more quickly and more easily. And keep up the pressure. But for now he seems to... Well, does he want to keep up set pressure? He kills one footman, finally. That's the first f 40 experience points for the Farseer. But he's dropping low on hit points all the time. But of course, with a fountain of health in the middle of the map, he can replenish his hit points. But it's pretty far away, so that does take quite some time. Gets one more peasants, two more peasants. And the grunts, well, are pretty tough to deal with right now. Yeah, very good early game for DNA at the moment. Um, Shriek was always very known for his expansions and lots of towers, of course. But now um, there are only two towers and the expansion is still not built. So a lot of peasants killed. The Grunts are doing a good job harassing here. He tried to block the Grunt, but uh, failed. He may lose one here, but no, he is able to kill another peasant. And now he's going home. Very good job by the Grunts, by the Farseers and the two Wolves. He is at tier 2 right now. Instant double beast 3 and this might be a Wyvern strategy. Oh yeah, Wyvern lost Temple. I think uh, that was played back in those days, kind of. Today, of course, we don't see that anymore. Farseer has killed five, uh, five peasants and one footman. 
So that's definitely quite a bit of damage dealt, but now two towers will be up at the expansion shortly. But no town hall just yet, so he has delayed it really uh, by very, very much. Is it finally gonna go down now? This one peasant doesn't have the gold for it right now. Nice positioning of the shop, by the way. I really like this. Yep. You can get items from the low ground that way. And he's gonna get another footman, maybe deny it. Uphill miss by the farseer, <laughs> that's unlucky. And he's not gonna deny it, that's uh, quite a mistake, uh, as much time as he had there. Level okay. 2 now for the farseer, and chain lightning will come into play. Sadly, no Taran Chieftain here, so we will miss the uh, chain lightning shockwave combination that is so great against the human. But we have a shadow hunter, as we see today uh, very, very often. So he'll have hex and the heal wave, and now he's trying to kill off that tower's first one down, and he has to leave now. Still, no, first attempt at the town hall uh, just right now. Um, I don't know if the Shadow Hunter is a good choice here, but if he plays Wyvern, it may be the best to heal them up because they are very expensive. How far along are they? And look oh. how delayed his tech is. Shriek is still at tier 1, and there's no sign of that changing soon. And there's no guard towers in the main so far. Where are the Wyverns? I feel like. Was he supply blocked or something? Yeah. He's been tier 2 for quite a while. He should have like 2 already. And he could send him into the main, surround now, onto the heroes of the orc, not quite. Okay. And there's the first wyvern. Yeah, now he sees the wyvern, so he should build a defend immediately. Let's check out the barracks here. Yes, he does. Um, but I think the first target will be the towers and of course the peasants, so that's not that big of a deal for him at the moment. No masonry upgrades just yet. And it's a shame for DNA, he had this timing window, had he had two wyverns earlier he could have done so much damage inside the main but well his macro was kind of slipping there i guess now hex onto the archmage can he really kill him doesn't have boost of speed but he should be fast enough to make for a quick retreat here another hex now hold that thought here comes a focus is he gonna have to tp to the tab uh, to the expansion he doesn't tp he does die in fact and now he can cancel that one guard tower easily but that's a lot of footmen He's probably gonna have to just ignore those and go for other stuff. Surround on the far here. Oh, will he town portal here? I don't think so. He's trying to kill oh. the footman to open the surround, but he's town portal. The one wyvern. The one wyvern killed herself because of defend. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a uh, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, and just foot defending this, I'm very surprised. As you said as well, I, I think I would have let the Farseer die there because yeah. there was a Shadow Hunter there and three Wyvern, and that's a lot of harassment potential. And this guard tower that is coming up inside the main base, he would have been able to cancel that, and there would have been no towers defending the peasant line. Now, if that tower goes up, the peasant line is defended, and I think that's actually quite a mistake from DNA here, saving that hero, as strangely as it sounds. That is uh, true, but he's trying to kill the economy again. No, not going for the peasant line here. There are three towers already, so that might be enough. He should... I don't know, what should he do right now? This is, of course, uh, Shriek's game right now. Camping inside the base, building a millions of towers. If you think I I uh, Infi is bad with uh, lots of towers in the base, then go watch uh, Shriek in the next couple of minutes. He'll build like, I don't know, 50 or something. Uh, that's what he was known for. Healing stuff on the Wyvern. And of course he can't kill much because of defend. So he maybe he should go creeping. He can just ignore the footman though. He just needs to find holes here and there where he can do damage. For example, if he was to fly into the main base from the south, he could disrupt all of that lumber harvesting. And now he's trying to go for the towers, and this is what I said before. There were no towers here when he TP'd out, but now there's two guard towers up, and that, of course, makes things difficult. <coughs> and maybe you're right now, because there's not that many holes to poke into in the human defense, and maybe now he should go creeping, but that's, of course, not what you want to do. With Wyvern, you want to take advantage of their air, well, at superiority. But he seems to be forced to, well, head back for the time being. Yeah, maybe he should focus on the heroes at the moment, but Trick does a good job um, defending them. 
So Hex and Wyvern Focus is, as we saw already, a very, very good combination. He's going for the Fountain of Health now, of course, one of the best spots for all the Orc uh, units. But he has to be careful with his uh, Farseer here, losing lots and lots of HP. And what is Shriek doing? Maybe another expansion? Yeah, definitely looks like it. Okay, here comes the police, so we will see another expansion. No attempts of a counter expansion by DNA, so he will have a hard time keeping up with the economy of Shriek in the next couple of minutes. Uh, Potion of Invulnerability, not that good, but uh, I think a Mountain King will uh, join the army in a bit. Is that hit two already? Okay, halfway. So, it's always a good item here. And a Health Stone, that's very good too. And Shriek... Uh being kind of uh, playing defensively right now, he's creeping the outskirts of the map, he's not trying to contest the middle, where he might be finding the orc, he wants to stay away from him, uh, from him for now, and just, you know, creep uh, the south where the orc will not show up, and now he's expanding again, finds the Lionhorn of Stormwind, which is, well, you know, one armor, it's kind of nice, but it's not amazing. And uh, DNA being v way more uh, offensive, He's in its opponent's face and doesn't want to lose the Wyvern to the creeps. Almost! <laughs> three hit points. Level 2 now for the Shadow Hunter. Very nice. But he needs to start expanding at some point if he's not going to try to kill the opponent's bases. I think he's because going of to, course he to tier 3 for that to yeah. grab a pocket expansion. Yeah, that's uh, of course very something very nice the Orc can do. Basically, builds instantly. Is, however, very expensive. Can you and take there's a look a at DNA's gold? Uh, DNA is at uh, 1000, so that's okay. more than enough. Okay, Shriek is on 1.2k. Yeah, it's only four towers here. He can deal with it. One masonry upgrade. Instant town port by Shriek. The heal ward is set up, but cancelled already by the towers here. Two towers down. Town portal coming in. Uh, units are regenerating at, at the moment, focusing the fast here or immediately. So no more wolves, no uh, chain lightning here. And now all the towers are down, so he can deal with the peasants. I think yeah. he just, just you know, focus fire one peasant after the other. He is, however, going after the army for now. He has a raider with one ensnare, which of course opens up the possibility of a hero kill. Yeah. Because the Archmage does not have a TP anymore. He used it to get here. But of course there's no mana for Hex. Well, hold that thought. There's mana for one Hex right now. Ensnare, where the Wyvern... Oh, he's uh, yeah, making no a mistake here. Splitting up his army. And there's a shop right there, and he gets a TP, so probably not gonna die. Could be a possibility here to surround something, and yes, the Shadow Hunter is surrounded. No escapes, and now the Archmage is in problems. Uses the potion of healing. Raider dies to the water elemental here. Next surround on the Shadow Hunter escapes again. Oh my God, not necessary here. But he's distracting the human army all this time and the Wyvern are yeah. dealing damage, but there's so many peasants at the expansion, he doesn't care if he loses 5 or 6 or 7. There's still a lot left, but these dire wolves are really good right now against the f uh, peasants, but of course the footies are coming back into play. Level 4 now for the Farseer, no mana, however, for level 2 ch uh, Chain Lightning. And he's doing a good job with these Wyvern, killing the economy, I really like this. Now only now the water elementals coming in to deal with those flying units but slowly this damage is adding up man it's a lot of dead peasants man. yeah i don't know if we see envenom spears already i don't think so oh the shadow hunter is in problems but he has his potion uh, of healing here in the health stone and the potion of invulnerability uses it i don't think it was the right decision to use the invul potion because the mountain king will be there and he could dodge a bolt with it but yeah maybe the bulgarian Connection is not that good to do uh, such micro stuff. Okay, th second expansion is already done here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towers already. The Orc army is healing up at the moment, and here we see the Torrent Chieftain, third hero. Really cool Orc triple hero, something we basically never see nowadays. And I also like the split of the Wyvern, three of them which were lower being sent to the middle to heal, and what's that, five left at the expansion to harass but now the Archmage is here with the level 2 water elementals new ivory towers and yeah you seem to have hit, hit the nail on the head here with Shriek's defensive tower play yep. and I think 
he really needs envenomed spears. It's such a good upgrade at tier yeah. three. But he ah, there it is. It's coming right now, nice. and he's still not expanding. This is so dangerous. He's putting everything on red, basically, to to use a metaphor here. If he can't break his opponent soon, and he doesn't expand still, it's gonna be really hard. But well, as uh, as we know, the game's gonna last a little bit, so I guess it's not gonna be decided too soon. Mountain King level one, level one bolt, of course, not that amazing. And the TC is here. Chain wave combo. We will see it after all, with a Shadow Hunter in between. And these towers are not gonna get up. We have level four, I believe, on the Shadow Hunter. Yes, these are very, very good hero levels. The human cannot compete with this, and I think he has to let that first expansion fall. Yep, no chance to hold it at the moment. The Archmage has to run away. The Mountain King not that, uh, not that good on level one. He's building more and more uh, footmen. He is on tier two. He has a Griffin Avery, and here comes the first Dragonhawk Riders. He needs a huge amount of them, of course. And uh, since DNA switched to Raiders already, he can ensnare them to cancel the shackles. That's exactly right. So question very is bad situation for Shrieky, but still no expansion for DNA. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Is he content with his victory here of killing this expansion? Yeah, he, he didn't go scout the second expansion yet. That's uh, also a good point. He should do that with wolves or something. Maybe he now thinks he's back to equal economy situation again, which is of course not the case, as we know. And look at this, new peasants making their way to the next expansion. Yeah, so why Shriek. not? He has the time. His bases are pretty much secured with millions and millions of towers. And he's creeping this camp with three footmen. Is that even enough? <laughs> with defend, I think so. Yeah, Alright, defend is of course amazing against the Berserkers. And the Ogre Warrior doesn't really deal much damage, so yeah. Should be okay. So that's pretty pretty nice uh, play there by Shriek, you know, using his heroes to defend the main base in case the Orc is gonna show up. And just using three footmen to creep that spot, I like that. Oh, but now claws Red of attack for plus 12 oh. for the Orc! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine well, on a blade, a blade master match, now. that would be fantastic, yeah. but yeah, yeah on those are heroes, are kind of meh. And now finally he's going for the expansion. Finally DNA is uh, giving into a longer game. Yep, the gold mines are running dry, the starting ones. So that's of course uh, absolutely needed here to build up a new gold mine, but still... Oh, the Cloud of Attack here, not that important. And he doesn't build a Town Hall, he immediately builds four towers. <laughs> Typical chic, uh, chic play here. And finally he's able to creep. He needs a Mountain King on level 3 to deal with the triple hero combo. Or at least uh, bolt the Shadow Hunter once or twice before he can cast the Healing Wave. Claws of Attack plus 9, man. This is Lost Temple of Claws. Claws plus 9? I didn't even know they can drop here. Oh yeah, in the yeah. corner expansions, okay. Yeah. I didn't play this map in a long time and I'm really glad for that. So funny with Undead, fast expansion Dreadlord. <laughs> yeah, I mean Lucifer did that, that was so amazing. That was in our top 100 replays of all yeah. time list. That was cool. With the Infernal and everything. But now DNA, he seems to have scouted. No, he doesn't want to go to for the expansion. He wants to go for the red spot. That will be level five for the Fars here, and maybe even level three for the TC. So that will be very good. Oh, an ancient Django of endurance, horrible item. He already has that in his uh, third hero. But now but very good hero levels. Yeah, five, four, and three against four and one, I believe, or four and two now. Um, huge advantage, of course. Uh, we might see the Fars here hitting level 6 so he can use Earthquake. That would be insanely good against uh, the Towers of Shriek. But first Hex again on the Archmage. Ensnare follows it up, but the Town Portal uh, saves the old man on the horse. I think... He of course knows there's an expansion down there, because you could see the Archmage turning that way, if he was paying attention to it. But I think he's also suspecting an expansion over here. 
And he's absolutely right. The question is, does he want to attack into those many towers? Well, he's going for it. Of course, Spirit Link is amazing at splitting up the damage. One Wyvern has, however, been lost already. But I think he should be able to take care of all these towers. Yeah, he could use Shockwave. Uh, that's, that's a good point, actually. Bit of a mistake of him not using that spell. He has full mana anyways, and I think he's now lost three Wyvern. Oh. A fourth one will follow. Oh my god, DNA. But uh, now the towers are finishing up. Oh. Did you take Why is he not using Shockwave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you take a look into his base? Oh, oh another man. Wyvern down! Oh man. He's playing Torrents now. That's really awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's, with that's really uh, awesome. Master Spirit Walkers. That's always fun to see. And now he's actually... Treek's trying to defend this, I guess, but he cannot try to take a real fight against these heroes. Nope. He's so inferior right now. But DNA but how is can actually... Lose, yeah, how can he lose five... Back. Wyvern. Now here comes the Shackles. He will lose all the Wyvern here, thanks to the Towers and the Hawks. Aerial advantage now for the American human player, but focus fire on the Archmage. Stop! And Chain Lightning kills off! He falls off his horse, and now it may be time for the Mountain King. Is there another end snare? Nope. No hex available as well. He deals with the Dragon Riders first, but DNA, good shot at the first hero. And that's why he didn't use Shockwave, because he didn't have Shockwave. Yeah, he has he had Stomp. Uh, he had the Stomp, exactly. We both automatically assume Shockwave because that's normally what you do against human. But no, DNA is going for the stomp here. And yeah, he lost so many resources. He, before this, he had like 10 Wyvern and he even lost the two that came new from his base. So yeah, that was incredibly much lost. And now Mountain King has le reached level 3 because of all the experience from the Dragonhawks. But yeah, he still has only one expansion running at the moment, but there's, well, two expansions. Alright, two expansions, but there's many more towers which are uh, fortifying their position for new bases. The Orc, of course, only has one, and, well, the main base has run dry, so only one gold mine at the moment against two. But, of course, the giant hero advantage of DNA will still be tough to deal with throughout this game. Yeah, but now it's time to level up the Mountain King. Look at the inventory here. Ne close of attack plus 9, close of attack plus 6, and close of attack plus, uh, close of attack plus 6 again. Plus 21 damage on the MK. It's strange. But there are more peons running through the gold mine here at the 3 o'clock starting position. So we might see another orc expansion, but the Mountain King scouts it. There's a tower to secure it. And uh, now the heroes are uh, coming in. So, yeah, this might be the time to build more and more expansions here uh, 46 food for DNA and it is 48 food for Shriek I don't think each of these players uh, will what look at the towers oh my god he just lost 10 towers there and <laughs> they're being set up right away again yeah, of course it's so important oh. to build new towers oh my god Shriek Jesus Christ we should start counting them if the game and is I, I, I assume Farseer hitting level 6 is gonna be really, really fun. I think that's what he's looking forward to the most. Maybe... Oh, look at that, the MK! That's, even, that's right, he got surrounded almost. Hex he's again. missing a third uh, raider, but Hex supplements or... No, he can use two raiders, alright. Uh, ma oh, no, maybe it was three and he needs, now it's he four. Needs three. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But combined with Hex uh, and Chain Lightning, he is able to kill it, so... Mm, I, would, I was just about to say, no heroes for the human player, but the Archmage is back on the battlefield. Yes, he is at the shop. What's he buying? Maybe invisibility and blizzard for harassment? Mm, What's I he doing didn't here? Didn't notice. I just sold his gloves of face. Just basically doing nothing. Yeah, Shriek is so playing so Clear. incredibly Star defensively. He's basically doing nothing at all, just yeah. reacting. And he doesn't have an army to do something with. I mean, he doesn't have any gold either because he's spending it all on towers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he has two footies left. No uh -huh. hogs at the moment. No tier 3 tech. So this no might be griffins. This might come to a game with 100 towers, man. Yep. <laughs> well, alright, I guess. The second oil expansion is up. 
So he's evening out the economy situation somewhat. Of course, not really, because it's four mining bases. Well, no, three. But a fourth one is soon to follow. For the human, Jesus Christ, so many expansions. And now he's using the Zeppelin. Get him to the island, but that army is not even close <laughs> to being able to kill that creep camp. What's he doing? Such a joke. <laughs> Yeah, whining about human maybe uh, a bit earlier than everyone else did. What is what is Shriek trying to do there? It's so yeah, ridiculous can... to even start the creep spot. A little bit of smack talk here, but yeah, he can't kill this. Like, there's no way. I don't know what. what... Well, he killed one of the trolls and he damaged one of the drakes. You still need to get to the golem, so if he just wants to do this with water elementals, it's gonna take like 20 minutes. <laughs> but I guess he has the time, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. There's uh, nothing DNA can do at the moment. The gold spended on the torrent totem is completely wasted till now. Not a single one on the battlefield here. Two gold mines by DNA against four, as we mentioned before, uh, by Shriek. Here's the fourth one. I think it's uh, a mistake by Shriek not getting a shredder. His uh, lumber income will never be matching his uh, gold income if he doesn't get a shredder. Because of course, four gold mines, that's a lot of gold, man. Forces are under attack. That is two rune braces for the Shadow Hunter, that's a nice item. Level four already on the Torrent Chieftain. And the TC has the claws plus 12, I don't know why. And a mana stone, so very good inventory for all these heroes. 1.6k gold for DNA, still on 50 food. And Orb of Lightning for the Torrent Chieftain, I like that. To deal with all the air. Third bestiary coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I think both players are gonna start upgrading like crazy, because yeah. this is gonna be such a long game. Where do we see human units? We seriously have one <laughs> footman. That's all he has right now, and he's at 50 supply. <laughs> so, one footman, two supply, two heroes, 12 supply, it's 38 supply peasants. Shriek has he more expansions this. than producing buildings. Yeah, and more expansion than army units, so... Yeah. <laughs> and this is, this is kind of crazy. But he is able to kill the granite golem now. Yeah, took some time, but he is gonna be able to, that's right. Oh, that's, yeah. scroll of restoration! No resurrection, it is. Resurrection, of course. Yeah, like the like the paladin. Ultimately. Yeah. But it's pretty yeah. cool if he gets to revive like knights or something. If it's for footmen, then well, whatever, it's footmen. But he can resurrect uh, raiders and walkers and stuff. Does it work on enemy units? Yeah, I, I think so. Chat, please answer the question. Well, the tooltip says, bring six of your nearby dead units back to life. Ah, okay. But I don't know, that may be wrong. I, I got no idea. I don't think I've ever used this item. Okay, maybe it's just the... Uh, the DK ultimate that brings back the enemy units. Yeah, that one definitely brings back enemy okay. units, you're right. TC almost level 5, he could reach level 5 by creeping the little shitty green camps in the middle. Another expansion for DNA, so we have three running gold mines oh, for the Bulgarian the Orc, and one, uh, four, almost five expansions for the American human. Claws again. Anoth another claws, <laughs> yeah, imagine a blade master here, yeah. For days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the game's game getting a bit boring, so let's... Oh, a tier 3 tech by Shriek and the Paladin now. But still... 4,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, 4 and 120 <laughs> lumber. <It's, laughs> it just ridiculous. doesn't work out at all. Okay, he has a Arcane Sanctum now, but he built it in the lower left corner. And this... I don't know if that's a good position for, for a producing building. A town is under siege. Yeah. are under attack. Maybe he doesn't want it to get scouted. I don't know. <laughs> Still strange. L no upgrade for the Kodo aura just yet, which is definitely a big mistake. 
Yeah, maybe he has no gold for that. <laughs> <laughs> JK. Alright, it seems like DNA has had enough of this and wants to have a fight. Of course, that's not what Shriek has in mind with more than 5,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> and well, yeah, not having a shredder is biting him in the ass right now. He doesn't have any lumber, basically. He should have even two shredders with such uh, so much gold. Almost uh, level 555 five, five heroes. Oh, I really like this witch doctor. Check yeah. it out, he has one witch doctor for the wars, that's uh, really cool. Yeah, the good old grubby play. With the sentry wards all over the place. More wyverns coming in, the uh, ranged weapons upgrades now being built. But yeah, not Hopefully much happening here. And he's doing it again. Red spot creep by Shriek. Uh, it's getting faster at the moment with the triple hero combo, of course. Maybe he's holy lighting the ward elemental? No, he's not. I think, well, reveal was just used on that base. And I assume DNA used the reveal because why would why would Shriek use the reveal there? But I'm not sure. Oh, we got an Inferno oh, Stone. That's nice. really cool. <laughs> Shades That's of the Undead Race on Lost Temple here. That's some really, really cool items we get, we're getting. Level 4 now, already for the Mountain King. Yeah, but the third hero is only level 1 and the third hero of DNA is almost level 5. Oh, and it was his reveal. Now here comes the Creepjack. Does he have a TP? He does have one. It's not his whole army, but yeah. Hold Two up. TPs. Chain Ooh. Lightning, he gets not stabbed enough. out. Yeah, not enough. He even tried to stomp, but failed with it. Okay, Shriek built 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 towers before he builds the town hall. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Legit human strategy. Yeah, of course. Oh, he has a Zeppelin now. He has 9,000 gold. 9,000. <laughs> it's over 9,000. Yeah. <laughs> It's over 9,000. <laughs> and what's he building? The priest adept training. Nice move. And he's just getting upgrades everywhere. He has double he blacksmith. <laughs> Look at that. Reminiscent he of Starcraft. <laughs> Look at that. He builds a second lumber mill because the first one is too far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know lumber mill is, is, is only gold. It's not lumber. So yeah, he has more than enough gold. Yeah, this is like uh, Age of Empires now. <laughs> Where you build a lumber mill uh, to gather more wood far away from your main base. <sighs> All right, but DNA now is taking the island expansion. Not Shriek. All right, they're excuse. Uh, um, excuse me, I'm missing the word here. Accusing each other of kind of uh, abusing, like disconnects and stuff. Uh, and it's heating up, guys. They they flamed each other back there. Players' forces are under attack. Yeah, that was good. I miss these times. Like the good old uh, Lake Duck times. <laughs> he was Where people best. didn't didn't care about being nice yet. Yeah, he was <laughs> just the best. Uh. Are you happy that you're doing the cast at the moment? No. <laughs> <laughs> This game is really not amazing so far, but we still have a lot of time where it may get interesting. Ooh, All right, Mountain the King, yeah. being focused. Does he have a staff ready? I don't know if he used it already on the Paladin. I think so. If he has, he's taking oh. a sweet time. Oh. I think and he has he two staffs. A... The Mountain King has a staff, right? MK does have a staff, yes. Okay, the Archmage and... will town portal out again, I believe. Unless he gets stomped and killed before he... Oh, Hex again! Hex. Beautiful combination here by DNA. Finally, hero dies. And this is Lost Temple, which means there is no tavern. So yeah. buying back the hero is not an option. It takes a long time to get him from the altar. And, and the this is a... Why is DNA retreating right now? I don't like this. Because he can't do anything against a gazillion towers. You know... Spirit Link is really good against towers and also level 5 Shadowhunter with a ton of mana. I think he could do something here. Okay. Triple Griffin Aviary now and Stormhammer's upgrade. 
So we will see Griffins, of course. And the Forest here is getting closer and closer to level 6. That means we Four will see Earthquake in the future. 14,000 gold, by what? the way. <laughs> yep. 45 and 75 lumber, lumber yeah. <laughs> Uh, ridiculous. Oh my god. DNA is on uh, 5,400 gold. <laughs> A town is A and here's the shredder from down. Mr. Shriek. Finally, where is it? Yeah. There it is. There it god is. damn it, that took way too long. <laughs> like 35 minutes. Yeah, that was a big mistake. He actually needs two. One is not enough. <laughs> maybe maybe in, in half an hour he realizes that as well. Is it four food for a shredder? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's for priest master upgrade. So maybe I inner fire knights and griffins. It's a cool unit combination. What's his upgrade status, anyways? I think that's the third defense upgrade he's getting there in his blacksmith in the bottom left. I would like to check on his units, but he doesn't have any, so I'm gonna have to assume. And what's the orc upgrade status like? Three defense upgrades and three ranged attack upgrades. No melee attack upgrades just yet. Which doctor master training? I like that. And orc a master surge. casters. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. It's and big... also really really scary when you're playing against it. Like yeah, it's, ex it's... especially shamans when it goes. <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> and suddenly your army is dead. What a good shaman impersonator you are. <laughs> yeah. It does sound like that, right? Blood yeah, lust, man. Yeah, that yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's, that uh, sound fucking scares me. Man, <laughs> oh, that was cool. We have to cut it out later and uh, <laughs> make like a scoreboard out of it, uh, 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 a soundboard. And just keep it in loop for 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like adopting a baby. All right, now he can solo kill the watermen with a farseer for solo XP. Is he doing it? Is he doing it? No, not really. Would like to see that for, of course. Level 6 and Earthquake. 100 XP missing, but the Archmage of Shriek is already on level 5 as well. So, if he is able to get uh, to reach level 6 and use mass teleportation properly, then I think the game is over. Because on Lost Temple, which is so big, there's nothing you can do against a human with high income and mass teleportation. 16 fucking thousand gold! He is, however, now finally going into upkeep after 37 minutes, people. Yeah. <laughs> He's finally going upkeep. DNA is on 80 food for a while now. Yeah, and probably gonna go to 100 and then maybe stop mining, as Sokol taught us. Kind of. Yeah, that, that, that would be a good choice, but I don't think uh, he's so smart. He also has double torrent totem, double spirit lot, triple bestiary. It's looking like Starcraft in this base. Yeah, but why is he going double torrent totem? He knows that his opponent has a griffin aviary, so he can just assume that there will be griffins now with 17,000 gold or whatever this is now. Yeah, he doesn't need to go torrents, but maybe, you know, if he sees, all right. You're going a lot of casters, only casters and breakers maybe, and then all right, I'm gonna get like six torrents now or something. Oh, he you has, know, he has so ball. many. He has so many resources, so yeah. he can do uh, just like just whatever he wants. Build, build a few uh, produ producing buildings. I'd love to see polymorph in this game. The sorcerer's master training is uh, is done. Of course, we also have Master Walker, so that's a lot of disenchant that he can use. That's true. All right. Oh, mate, the two armies are walking towards each other, right? No, just kidding. Walk is uh, going back again. And yeah, DNA has amazing map vision, thanks to all the sentry wards. Or oh, he can almost see the whole map. Yeah, but it's like they, they split the map in two, so yeah. both got one half, kind of. Uh, the DNA needs to take the expansion that was the first of Shriek. Yeah, and then, then it's 50-50, yeah. Oh yeah, let's let's take a creep spot now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the last remaining I need another claws. Oh Damn, no, it's Ring of Protection. Ring of Protection. GG, bad item. <laughs> yeah, he lost because he didn't find a claw. 
100 okay. supply for Shriek with 16,000 gold in the bank. Doo -doo! First torrents on the battlefield here. Both players are on 100 food, I believe. At least Shriek is on its way. Okay, both players are. So, let's take a look at the unit compositions. Uh, no knights for Shriek. That's interesting. A few casters and lots and lots of griffins with 3-3 three, three upgrades. And now the armies are about to collide. This doesn't really look like a hundred supply though, that's because of course he has so many peasants. But alright, here comes the first fight finally. We have inner fire. Shockwave hits not really much to be honest. So he's got a little bit of shockwave and a little bit of stomp. And here is the inferno and a scroll of protection also. Now suddenly this human army is looking really really fearsome. Disenchants coming in everywhere. Now bed riders joining the fray, exploding into the Griffins, but they're pretty damn tanky because of all their armor upgrades and actually I think the human is having the advantage here Yeah, I think so too. Lots and lots of confusion here. The Archmage is in problems and is about to die And now he's dying and here is the ultimate from the Shadow Hunter Voodoo uh, spirit here every unit is invulnerable except of the, of the Shadow Hunter But he has a health stone so he can keep this up for a while huge move by DNA using this ultimate right here Finally the infernal dies, but this is a scroll of resurrection. Oh my god. What a fight, but instantly shockwave <laughs> being casted here All the casters hit and the wipers are in the air finishing of unit after unit and snares of course are Available the mountain king is in problems now. Is there another and there no invisible cast by shriek here? What a fight? That was pretty damn cool man. You don't see a fight like that every day and the mountain king is gonna be biting the dust Also BAM finished with the shockwave Level 6 on 3 heroes now for the orc. That's pretty damn amazing. And what's he, <laughs> how's, how's he gonna use this earthquake? There's no bolt right now to cancel it. What does he want to destroy with it? Yeah, I think uh, he should go for an expansion or the main base so there's no more production of the griffins. That could be something. But yeah, we'll see. The polymorph on the wind rider here is pretty cool. Let's <laughs> see the flying sheep. Uh, but yeah, he's killing tower after tower now. The, the bad rider tr transition, of course, was very, very smart. Uh, I think he kind of uh, didn't have, um, what do you call it, inner fire on everything. Yeah. But then again, of course, with one disenchant, it's all dispelled. But he did lose all of his spirit walkers. I think he really needs to get new ones. And uh, two ones are going to be joining the army right now. And... DNA really needs to do something with this er earthquake, man. There's no MK right now. There's yeah. nothing Shriek can do yeah. against it. He's getting a second altar, so he can <laughs> revive two heroes <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's the second one? Ah, there, there it is. That's why it is vain. Oh my uh, god, this is awesome. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first breakers are coming in. And. Dragonhawk riders, so he's transitioning uh, into something. One gold mine is running dry here. The in the uh, the one in the uh, lower left. Yeah, maybe <coughs> and we see a completely outmined lost temple in this game. I don't think I've ever seen that. That Me would neither. be kind of cool, though. You know, yeah. kind <laughs> yeah. of. Yeah. I'm using that word with caution because it can also be really boring. And there's only one creep spot left, oh, which is yeah. being pinged. And immediately the orc goes there and is like, no, <laughs> no, we can't have this. We cannot have this. We need to creep it immediately. Oh, huge amount of Dragonhawk riders here. Yeah, that's nice against the Wyvern, but the thing is, the Torrents are kind of tickled by those. No. So... Yeah, yeah sure. I think there are only two Wyverns left, if I see that correctly, and a huge amount of bad riders, so this will be killed immediately, this pile of uh, hawks. Oh, maybe we see a huge explosion now coming in! Huge, uh, huge usage of Shackle here, shackling everything! Oh my god, perfect usage here by Shriek, and here comes the clouds, so the towers aren't shooting at the units. Alright, but Chain Wave can be so painful right now. Why is he not using the spell Scroll of Protection again? Used by Shriek, but dispelled immediately. Disenchant hitting so many enemy units. Very well done. Shockwave comes through. Does hit a lot, but not everything. Ch uh, chain Lightning, more than enough mana to use it. But all of these Dragonhawks, you know, 
They're not dealing that much damage, but they're also not dying anymore. There's no more bad riders. So over time, these Dragonhawks will be superior. I assume the TC, the TC, well, he has the ultimate, of course. He yeah. wants him to die, so he can come back with full mana there. He goes down, and the reincarnation will bring him back to full health and full mana. He needs to take care of these priests and sorceresses somehow. I don't really know how. Well, there was a shockwave. That's a good start. Polymorph on the torrent, and there's no dispel right now for DNA. Nothing in the orc army to be, well, counter casters, I guess. And does he have a TP? He has a TP. Oh, and he swaps oh. the town portal, but here comes the bold, stunning the torrent chief, and now he has to run away, but he's slowed, and no dispel, potion of invulnerability used on both heroes, so, so they can get away. No bolt available, maybe he can stay in range to grab at least one of the heroes, but there's no follow-up available. Here comes the Hex, so both heroes are secured. Once again, amazing fight and nice usage of Shackle, nice usage of the Cloud to uh, prevent the towers from shooting here. Oh, finally he's able to let two bad riders explode here, but the inner fire did wonders against this. The perfect transition right now for the O level 6 for the Archmage. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, he's just uh, going to this expansion right now. I think this expansion is going to be the last one standing because it's under so much c contention from both sides. Uh, but we're going to see. Well, I think the perfect transition right now for the Orc would be a million Berserkers and Spirit Walkers for uh, Spirit Link and Dispel, you know. You mean the Headhunters? Yeah, Headhunters. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, headhunters, I mean. Just. A million headhunters, maybe a few bed riders, and of course bird walkers. But he's going for raiders instead, which is also yeah, nice. Yeah, but, but he's he's the he's, he's going for the berserk berserkers as well. But he needs like at he least two barracks, yep. maybe even three. To yeah, uh, he has with a this somewhere else? No, he doesn't. Another gold mine dry. Two gold mines dry now. Three gold mines dry now. And Shriek is down to only two gold mines. But he has 16k gold, so it's not that bad. He's gonna be down to one, in fact, because um, the one in the bottom is gonna be running dry in a second as well. Ooh, yeah. And this is where you should really stop mining gold. You have so much gold, and in high upkeep at 100 supply, you're just losing so much. Just stop mining right now and continue once you're either low on gold or you're at 50 supply. Or at least, you know, 80. Alright, a lot died right here, but because both have so much gold, it's just being replenished very quickly. And now we see him. We see the scary, scary shamans. Yep, and another barracks here to go for more and more berserkers. So maybe bloodlusted berserkers with, uh, with, with Spirit Link. That would be cool. That would be really amazing. <laughs> Imagine how fast they shoot. <laughs> That's true, with the TCR on top. Yeah, w yeah. W <laughs> with the TCR, with the ability of the headhunters, and with the with the yeah, bloodlust. Exactly. It's so crazy. But of course, Blizzard Thunderclap could do wonders against that if yeah. he. I don't know if he has Blizzard. Decides to. Uh, oh. I think he should. But water elementals are not that good in 100 food versus 100 food. He drops it. Oh, he has water elementals, so he drops on the island to kill off another expansion, but there are oh, a few towers. Orc does have a TP, and I would be surprised if he, doesn't, if he doesn't defend this. There's basically no better position for him to fight with so many towers there. Yeah, he's gathering and he's yeah. town portaling. Yeah, here it comes. Huge army. Okay, Very here we go again. TP. Paladin needs to be careful right from the start. Use Divine Shield immediately. Disenchants coming through each and every way. We also have a healing ward. Very nice from the sh uh, um, Witch Doctors, I assume. And this is a lot of A click. And yeah, this is what the box art of Warcraft 3 looks like. This attack tree completed. And it looks like the Orc will have the upper hand here. And Shriek is forced to TP out. <laughs> And he oh lost man. so much there, 60 yeah. supply only now for Shriek. The Berserkers, man, like a Gatling gun, throwing their <laughs> spears. <laughs> so cool. The 7 now for the TC. He did get the Endurance Aura level 3. So I assume he retrained and got rid of yeah. War Stomp? I think so too. 
Or but has... now he can't get a... he can't get away from the expansion because he only had one TV. <laughs> oh no! But he's uh, getting but... a zeppelin. Yeah. And, uh... Okay, that might take some time. Yeah. And he has a cargo space for eight units, of yeah. course. And Shriek is back on his expansion, his natural expansion. That's funny that the natural expansion is the last one he can get in this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And okay. by the looks of it, it's going to be the last one with gold yep. in it. Exactly. The one in the upper right is running dry in a second, so both players have a expansion on the <laughs> islands. And this will be... The last remaining gold mine. I'd love to see level 10 TC. Level 10 TC is so cool because he only has good spells. Oh, true. Whereas, you know, Farsight is kind of useless, actually. <laughs> He's forgetting one target on the island! No! Oh, poor little fella. He's the guy getting... Maybe the, the Zeppelin was just full, so he couldn't... All right, he, he didn't forget about him. Fake is yes, bringing him to his friends now. Nice guy. <laughs> Good guy DNA. Yeah. Not forgetting about the torrents. Okay, Shriek is becoming very active here. He is going for the l last... Okay, the former uh, second last remaining gold mine. But Shriek is too late. Okay, maybe he was just about uh, the shop here and the heal scrolls, which are, of course, very important against shockwave, chain lightning... And whatever there is. <coughs> How much gold is it for the human? 13,000 still. Oh my god. And only 3,000 for DNA. You yeah. know, in a war of attrition, even if Shriek does take the worst trades, he will win. I'm very curious how much gold DNA lost to upkeep later. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to. Please this, remind uh, me of after that. the game. Yeah. yeah. He basically, I think he was in upkeep before he had his first expansion, yeah. so he lost so much gold. And of course, Shriek was at like 15,000 before he went ventured into upkeep. But now he's going to be able to get a lot of free units here, I assume. And here comes the bloodlust, and everything is looking scary. Well, one sorceress only died so far, so Shriek is getting away with a, a warning here, I guess. Bloodlust and Wyvern of course, very old-school tactics. Uh, the master of that was, I believe, the card. And now he's killing unit after unit. This could be the chance, but no bad riders here. I I inner fire being cast up everything. Heal ward set up. And the Griffins are going down very, very fast now. And this just... The human's army is way smaller. Why is Shriek fighting here? This is a terrible, terrible p uh, position. And decision by him, he, there's no way he can win this, he needs to TP out, like right the fuck now, or the best yesterday, but now he's being hacked, Whoa! is he being stomped, is he being killed? In the duration of the hex, from 100 down to 0, oh, even yeah. more, because he was <laughs> healed in between, this damage output of the Orc army is just crazy, and Shriek making the biggest mistake so far of this entire game, is it costing him this match? Uh, the Mountain King! Like the Mountain King! He can just kill the Mountain King! What's he doing? Where What's is he it? doing? Uh, oh my What's god! What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, <laughs> big mistake. The Mountain King trapped thanks to the Staff of Sanctuary, but DNA not making a use of that. He is going to the expansion, to the last remaining expansion for Shriek, and he has to use Earthquake. Now, finally, he's using Shockwave. Yeah, very good decision here. Big bad voodoo, and but he's not using the ultimate of the Farseer. Why the fuck not? Fighting here now, of course, the only thing to focus is the Shadow Hunter. Very, uh, uh, very good blocking here. And now the Mountain King finally in a surround again. He has a potion of invulnerability, so he will be safe. Holy Light again, invu potion. So he switches the focus. A few Griffin Riders are back in to the game now. And the heal wards, man. The positioning of the heal wards, so great by DNA. And I also want to see an earthquake now, finally. Yeah. Come on, buddy, use it. Use it. He has 600 mana, man. Why not doing that? Maybe he didn't sell it because he thinks it's a bad ultimate, which would surprise but me. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he didn't scan, but use Farsight instead. Oh, ah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. But of course... But it's fucking awesome against this amount of towers. Why? Yeah, I know. Maybe he thought he's not going to have a chance because of the bolt or whatever. I don't know. But you know... One level far side is enough. 
Yeah. At level 8, you don't need the second level in Farsight, yeah. then you can at least get the ultimate. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, maybe, maybe he thinks otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but this expansion is, of course, toast. There's no way Shriek can defend this. What does Farsight le level 2 do? Like, bigger reveal, AoE, lower mana cost. I think that's it. Okay. Look at the wolves, man. They're critting like crazy. But now Shriek comes back into play. Why is Shri coming in here again? There's still no way he can win this fight. His heroes are just nuts. The wave being used, Sh uh, Shockwave has already been used, and Chain Lightning will be soon to follow. I can only assume, is he actually... Is the human actually winning this fight? I can't imagine. Griffins OP. Uh, Griffins are not bad, but... Let By the way, he got... Oh no, he didn't. The Torrent Chieftain has plus 34 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the Kodo aura. <laughs> and DNA is retreating. Why is he retreating? I have no idea. I think idea, he could man. definitely win this fight. Is he is he if low on mana on the Shadow Hunter? If the, really. if, 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 if the Torrent Chieftain is lucky, he does more damage with one hit than a coil does. Uh yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> on level one of course. Oh man. Shriek is shopping again. Scroll of protection, scroll of healing. Oh, three, oh, look at this. three scrolls he's of healing now. He's using Farsight everywhere now. So I guess he did not skill Earthquake and preferred Farsight instead, which is really disappointing. Because Earthquake is a really cool spell. Well, it's pretty useless in 90% of the games, but. Yeah, but this, is this time. This game, game is designed for this ultimate, man. I, I, I don't get it. Okay, scrolls of healing now for the fast year as well, but only two. So I can't believe that tr the Shriek is defending this expansion. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's absolutely not. DNA can just win this awesome. fight. How how does he not see it? Uh. DNA is down to one gold mine, but Shriek is two. Because uh, the island expansion is uh, is is dry now, so three thousand seven hundred gold for Shriek, and two thousand six hundred gold for DNA. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure right now that all of the gold mines will be completely gone before this game is over. I've never seen that man. Lost Temple <laughs> completely outmined. Yeah, I haven't seen that either yet, but we're gonna be witnessing it together. Yeah. Alright, and he seems to be posturing again, the orc, to launch his next attack. And I hope he doesn't forget about Spirit Link. Yeah, there it goes. Alright. The human heroes are getting stronger and stronger, by the way. <laughs> That's, That's a factor. He doesn't have Spirit Link on everything yet. Uh, but of course, Spirit Link is being stolen. And this is a bad position. Now, finally, we see the blizzard. I think this is way overdue. And another scroll of protection shriek has been doing this for a long time. The TC is stuck in the bag. Torrents are stuck in the bag. DNA does not start this fight off very well. He's doing a big mistake here with his positioning. Finally, the TC gets up in front, but he's lost so much already. And he's given Shriek so much time here to replenish his army. And slowly but surely, he's becoming strong. Level 5 now on the Paladin. And I think we're going to be seeing units after units dropping. Basically, the healing wards are countering the blizzards here, so... It's uh, equaled out, another shockwave comes through, the casters being healed up again by the heal scroll. But slowly but surely they are dying, now Archmage needs to be careful. Gets pulled back, another nice blizzard coming in, and Stas is trapped! It was stolen! It was stolen with the spell! Oh ultimate. my god! TC now dies, but will come back with the Ankh of Reincarnation. Yeah, and the human army is so small, and the TC now back to full life, full mana and this human army will mountain be gone king in mountain second. king mountain king in the last possible second to use his holy light more and more blizzard now he goes to the archmage but huge usage of the potion of invulnerability just before the storm pits level nine on the shadow hunter here more and more blizzard coming in all the orc units are damaged is there another heal wave or something no no more mana but here comes the hex is it enough is there enough follow-up there is a town portal and he uses it uses it Oh man, the storm he used there was, was just barely out of range. Otherwise, the Archmage would have died and everything else would have died as well. 
Jesus oh, Christ! What if I... And again, again, he's going through the fountain. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? You can just easily kill the expansion right now. He has such a giant advantage. Why is he standing at the well, fountain? Well, su uh, supply-wise, they are very equal. But look at the armies. He has two priests, three priests, excuse me, one breaker, yeah. and three griffins, and that's it. And look at the orc army. Well. It's just... Oh. DNA is too passive here. Way too passive. He missed the window before where he could have easily killed exp the expansion and he's missing a window again right now. Now it's six griffins. Maybe that's why he didn't... Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, he has uh, three griffin aviaries. Yeah. But, you know, had he attacked, like, like right there, if he doesn't get go to the fountain, but instead goes over there, he has the time. And he doesn't I have a TP, right? Does uh, he have a TP? Yeah. yeah. So if, if, if things turn sour, he can just get the fuck out. That's true. I wonder what happens when the gold mines are all dry, because I think the one who attacks will lose the fight thanks to towers, and they both know that. Well, I don't know. Probably once they get below 1000 gold, both will not have the guts to uh, attack anymore and go for building kills instead and the one guy has blizzard and cloud against the towers and the other guy has earthquake hopefully someday <laughs> well at some point he will reach level three uh ten so he has to skill yeah. it <laughs> that's right or maybe he, has, he just <laughs> leaves the this, this, the uh, skill point there so ah, i don't like earthquake i won't skill it <laughs> level nine shadow hunter man so insane more and more we haven't seen any serpent wars yet by the way Oh, true. But I think and the level 2 Serpent Awards are actually pretty damn good. And yeah, but not, three also. Not, not against Griffins. Yeah, but they don't target them, you know. And uh, they don't get hit by the splash because they're wards. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Wards are kind of weird little things. Buildings, then are units, that they're, they're just wards. I didn't know that. I'm still thinking about the stolen uh, stasis trap. That was so cool. Uh, well, that was that was cool, man. We saw cool. that a few weeks ago in the WEC, I believe, uh, between Fly and was it Yumiko? On last. I think huge. it was. I think it was Yumiko. No, yeah. it was. Uh, it was Nomad Isles. Ah, true, Nomad Isles. That was such an awesome game. Yeah. That was really amazing. That was definitely replay of the year candidate 2014. We will do that uh, later, maybe this year. Maybe at the end of this series. So the final gold mine for DNA is down. But Shriek has only. Didn't we, didn't we cast that game already? Didn't yes. you cast that with yeah. someone? Yeah, we did. But we missed the stolen status trap that made the cast <laughs> bad. <laughs> didn't make it bad. Yeah, well. Didn't you didn't you figure it out towards the end? Yeah, but uh only after the GG. I I didn't I hadn't seen that before that though also, either. I mean. All right, Shaman is uh, Shadowhunter is going to the shop. What's he getting? In one of the probably. Uh, scrolls of feeling, of course, amazing when the armies get this big. Yeah, but only two for the orc and one, two, three for the human. You know what? Good thing there's two shops here, because then shop control is not so important. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not Echo Isles, we can say that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another scroll of protection. I'm, I'm surprised you still buy those, because they always get dispelled immediately. But hey, if he forgets about it, it's definitely worth the money. Yeah, the two. Alright, so they're both points. back up. No, wait. They're not both back up to 100 supply. DNA is. Oh, he basically has no more gold, man. If he loses this army, he only has 680 left to replenish, and that is a big deal. Yeah, this is all thanks to uh, the upkeep. 2000 gold left for Shriek. He bought something, so it's 1.8k. Another scroll of healing, of course. A player's force. Oh, man. And there's no more income for nobody. Never again. All the gold is gone. Yeah, I would love to see them clash in the middle. Fight. <laughs> and now he says it. 
It's like in the good old noob LAN days, like uh, <laughs> build an army for 15 minutes and then clash somewhere on the map. <laughs> no, no rush 15, yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And where the orc army is standing right now, is that the only place where fights ever happened? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the only place on the map where something interesting ever happened. <laughs> well, and the expansion, I guess. Which is right next to it. Maybe that's why that was the fighting spot. And that is, of course, uh, likely. Okay. <laughs> DNA is well prepared now with the stasis trap. And got stolen, though. By the way, how did you see that stasis trap? Do you have some sort of reveal? They now? reveal themselves just before they are about to explode. Yeah, I know that, but you think he's that good with that quick reactions? Because I don't think that thing is auto-cast, that special ability. I think mm. you have to manually cast it. I don't know. Chat? I th Please tell I th us. I think you have to manually cast it, but I could be wrong. Because of course the normal spell steal thingy that goes on auto cast, but I think the one where you steal summons the tier three upgrade, ah. I think that you need to use manually. Yeah, that's that is true. You're right. Once again, you are Mr. Right. Ah, oh, Mr. Right. I like that. <laughs> By the way, still so many casters. He's been losing them for like an hour now to chain wave, but he keeps on getting them. Yeah, I of think course he needs priests for for the holy uh, holy light, the holy fire, inner fire, I inner fire. Yeah. Does he though? Doesn't of it course. just get dispelled? You'll see in a second because the two monster armies are colliding right now. Blizzard once again. The Kodo beast focused out immediately, so no more damage was okay. There's one other. Kodo Beast. Everything is healing up thanks to priests and of course the heal ward chain wave rocking in the uh, the Griffin Riders here. Not that much happening here. The first Griffin Rider down. No, saved by the Holy Light. Very, very nice. Hex on the Archmage again to cancel the Blizzard, but it's not looking good for DNA. Oh man, and we now have Griffins with inner fire and bloodlust because it was stolen from the Spellbreakers and it's not getting dispelled because he doesn't have any more Walkers left and Avatar Mountain King is tanking the entire front line, but despite these amazing facts for the human, it's actually not enough. He needs to retreat again because those castles are so fragile, so frail in nature. Nice hex to uh, counter out the blizzard, and the orc is going for the kill, going in deeper. He has level almost 10 Farseer, keep that in mind. Blizzard again, hex again, nice reactions by DNA. He's in fact now fighting uphill. He's missing attacks on his units, which is of course not the best thing for him. Nice decision by Shriek to take his stand right now, and he's level 6 on oh. the Paladin. He might be able to resurrect stuff with his ultimate, the Farseer! Oh. He resurrects stuff, and the Farseer is so low HP, he gets uh, saved by the invulnerability potion. Everything is low, low now, suddenly for the Orc, he has a TP. Does he need to use it? Uh, I don't think so. There's another heal wave, but the Blizzard killing all the Berserkers here. This is looking so good for Shriek, thanks to the so mighty Griffin Riders and the Berserk and whatever. The Torrent Chieftain is in problems. No, the Archmage is in deeper problems. Town portaling out. The Torrent Chieftain survives, and the Torrent does too. So time to heal two up hit now. Yeah, do hit points. Uh, 27 food <laughs> for DNA. 40. For fucking fight. 40 for Shriek. <laughs> And, uh, by the way, <laughs> something we didn't take into consideration at all, Bloodlust can really, really backfire against the uh, yeah. Breakers. <laughs> as we saw it, uh, backfire. And that's yeah. what happened there. We had like eight Griffins with Bloodlust and Inner Fire, oh, and he didn't have any bad. Walkers left yeah. to dispel. Yeah. He would have won that fight easily, was that not the case? But yeah, the buffed up Griffins kind of swung that game around, but it's not over yet, folks. Still 600 gold for DNA. He's not producing anything. What do you even get here? I think you save your money and just buy clarities with it. Yeah, that would be that would be good. And then maybe 
use earthquake to slowly <laughs> chip away at all the buildings. He's not okay. Now he's going for the walkers again. Nice decision uh, it's, here. It's it's so important. Spirit link, incredibly good. Dispel also. Does he even have any priests left? Yeah, he has some. Shriek is out of gold. He sold something here. He actually s used all his gold already. I think yeah. that's a big mistake. He's down to f uh, 43. What is DNA doing? He has 300 left. That's like two units, or one unit, and a like clarity or something. He's not regenerating anything. Just using Farsight. I think he got level 3 Farsight instead of the Earthquake. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, he I think he would have used Earthquake sometime. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, he's selling more. He sold okay, his he bracers on yeah. the Shadow Hunter. He's 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 going for uh, your unit composition now with only headhunters and walkers. It's not the best, uh, the the worst decision because the damage dealers are of course the four Griffin Riders. And I think they will meet up again soon. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is so cool. It's like a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, you know? that's so cool because they they uh, flamed each other like all the game, and now they are so mannered and date each other for a fight. Go oh, same position. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> This is oh, so weird. Oh, look at that. Invisible on the Griffins and invisible oh. on the Paladin oh, and dude, the Archmage. Dude, we don't have invulnerability on Farseer or Shadowhunter. Ooh, we this have two so invuls on the Archmage. This is so... Uh, in invul, my, I mean, exactly. Yeah. This is so dangerous, man. This is so incredibly dangerous. Oh, but if he goes into the same position, we have sentry wards in place to reveal the invisibility. But he's not. He... He came. <laughs> he he comes from behind. <laughs> There's two uh, zeppelins there right now to help save units. Oh, oh my god! Man. Oh, my oh god. man! This is so intense. This is so yeah. intense. Here comes I think far side again, and now he sees it. He has to reposition his whole army. Nothing is about to reveal. Now dispel on the on the invis uh, units. Very nice approach here by uh, by Shriek, but yeah, kind of backfired for him. Storm and misses almost everything, but he wanted the Mountain King. But now these Griffins, man, they're getting really low, and only one he uh, heal at a time is coming in with the Holy Light. And Serpent Wards, finally we're seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> First priest goes down, and the human army looked pretty strong, but it's being driven back easily I would say. Yeah, two griffins are about to go down. But also one torrent will be falling in a second. Level 7 now for the Mountain King of course tanking everything in front with his avatar form. Oh he's also reviving the torrents! Oh very nice. He can do that of course with the ultimate of the, the uh, master upgrade of the spirit walkers. And I think Shriek may be standing on his last leg here. Everything is low, everything is damaged, everything may be dying soon, perhaps. Even the Mountain King, he still has not invulnerability, however. He can just pick up unit after unit here. Only two Griffins remaining, and I think the second one is not going to be living for much longer. Ultimate, nice, by the Paladin. Gets his units back, but honestly, they're still not that difficult to kill. And DNA is making this fight his own. Yeah, definitely. It's too too bad for Shriek that he can't revive air units. Level 10 on the Farseer. Finally, he has Earthquake. He has to have Earthquake. Uh, yeah, he is about to kill the final Griffin Rider, so no more huge damage output except from, uh, yeah, maybe the Torrents here, the Water Torrents, of course, and the Stormbolt. But yeah, the revive move by DNA, absolutely beautiful. To think about that. In the end, he lost all of his torrents, I believe. Yeah. But it was definitely worth it. He still has Dispel now. He still has Spirit Link now. Ah, but he's losing his torrent. One after, uh, his walkers now. One after the other. Only has one remaining. One is actually the most important one. Because Spirit Link is the best thing you want from him. Yeah. So well, he, he just needs to keep that guy alive. Oh, Maybe load him into the Zeppelin. 
He has two around, so he should be thinking of that. He wants to get that one walker with the bolt, I do believe. But he's being microed back nicely. And now comes the focus onto the MK. How much mana for Holy Light? Uh, he storms everything! What kind of two Holy Lights remaining? Invulnerability used on the Arc Mage. And this is so much Orc stuff. Paladin comes out of Hex. Maybe you'll be focused. Uh, Divine Shield. And a heal. The next heal will take some time. Focus Hex onto the Mountain King, but he gets uh, stabbed home. <laughs> and oh, Hex, Hex, no, Hex. not available. No he just, mana. Ah, no mana. I think the cooldown was uh, in play too. Got any gold? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we all know the human, uh, the the triple hero human combo is fucking strong. But we have ten, ten, nine heroes yeah, for the, for the other true. guy. That's true. So he, he is not bad himself. And I would say, if both those hero combinations on level 10 all, the Orc win will, will win, excuse yeah, of me, course, if, uh, if, if he has, no, I mean if he has Spirit Link on it. Yeah, and of course the uh, combination of a Storm, Hex, and then Nuke him is better compared to Clap, Blizzard, Bolt. Oh man, and he just, he just uh, mass teleported to his base down there to get that one tome of intelligence for the paladin. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking Very crazy. cool. Alright. Shriek once had 16,000 gold. He yeah. now has one priest and one spellbreaker and one griffin. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, I think he had some money for the clarity potion. Yes, on the shadow hunter. Extremely important for the next fight here. Wolves being summoned, the Torrent Chieftain is ready for uh, one one uh, wave and one, what's it called, stomp, of course. Yeah, he will gladly sacrifice himself yes. to come back with the ultimate. But you know, even if he doesn't come back, he still has a quite a bit of damage. By the way, he has 1400 hit points, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But he's not doing 100 damage anymore. Holy <laughs> fuck, level 10 Shadow Hunter has retarded <laughs> mana. <laughs> and 735 is actually not that bad, but I think I've once, once seen a Shadow Hunter on Twisted Meadows with more than 1000 mana. With like two pendants of mana and a pendant <laughs> of energy. That is a lot. Definitely. Okay, and are they just waiting for the natural regeneration of the mana? Oh no, <laughs> he's selling one claw. The, the no. pl he's, he's still at the plus 12 claw. He has more than okay. 200 gold again. Yeah. And of course he does not... Oh, you know what would be an amazing move? Casting someone invisible and then sending him there to pick up the items that he's dropping for better regeneration. <laughs> Oh yeah, That's but I don't know if if Farsight from the Farseer sees invisible units. I think I'd it does. I assume so, yeah. Because the the Farsight ability from the Arcane Towers also reveals invisible stuff. Yeah. So so I think it does. I think so too. Okay, ten, ten, nine heroes colliding with uh, seven, seven, six, and a Griffin. Yeah, there's no way Shriek can win this fight, but he's gonna try to do it anyways. Hex to start off the fight on the Mountain King, Chain Lightning coming in immediately. And Shriek is like, I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this, and he's retreating. Water Elementals gets focused quickly. Avatar now in play. Sp uh, Spirit Walkers need to be careful. Zeppelin, where are you? To help out those little casters. Archmage, Archmage needs to be careful. Gets healed, gets uh, f uh, Chain Lightning as well, but does survive. And another staff saves. The Griffin and was that Spirit Walker survive? Uh, revive? Not really. Archmage is coming back in, getting stomped again. Wave, chain, hex coming in, but heal saves him once more. The Paladin is of Ooh, course. Huge so stomp now on the Paladin, no chance to heal. Oh, just wears off in the last possible second here. Hex again. He has so much mana and there is follow up to deal damage, but another Holy Light. How many Holy Lights are there? Three more. And the water mantle kills the berserker here, but just before it's dispelled. And yeah, <laughs> and now he only has one walker left. This is so yeah. bizarre. Triple this hero is so, one walker. This is so fucking bizarre. It's it's incredible. 
<laughs> How does this end? He needs to just, I think, Spirit Walker just use Spirit Link and then run the fuck away. He's, he's making a, doing a big mistake oh, here. He loses Walker. Yeah. Big, big, big mistake. Pretty but badly done by DNA. Maybe he gets the Mountain King now. There's no more Steph. And, okay, the Paladin is, of course, back to full mana. The Brilliance Aura is so freaking important right now. That's why he's going for the Archmage. And, of course, because he's the most squishy one. Griffin back into place. Okay, Stomp again on the Archmage. Another heal. Oh my god, this holy light, man, saves him the game. Is it gonna be enough, though? Summons against summons, heroes against heroes. Yeah, but the walking fountain of mana is gonna win this fight, man. If they keep trading like that, you might be right, but there's still a lot of mana left on the Shadow Hunter. Maybe Hex. Uh, now the thing is gone, the um, Divine Shield. Now he can focus him. And even if the Paladin gets stabbed out, he can win the fight after that. What's he going for? What's he going for? He does not want to run into those towers. What's the Hex gonna be used on? Nothing just yet. I think the Paladin. He has to use it on the Paladin, then stomp with the Torrent Chieftain. <coughs> and then focus with whatever he has left. I think so too. He's trying to go for the Griffin, maybe? Not really. Oh my god, this level 3 aura is just <laughs> so crazy. Game and on a knife edge, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the stomp, here comes the follow up, but there is a potion of invulnerability, and of course, there's the heal by the paladin. Divine shield being used, but now the mountain king is in trouble. Healed up again. That's not the way to go here. He can't focus anything but the paladin because it's just gonna get healed up. Oh, serpent wards <laughs> now being used, <laughs> but killed off immediately. He needs to wait until this Divine Shield is over, and after it's over, kill the Paladin, or hex him while he kills something else. Yeah, but of course, Shriek doesn't want to fight with a back against the Fountain. Heal again. And there's no way he runs out of mana. There is just no way. <coughs> yeah. On level 3, it's 2.25 uh, mana per second yeah. for everyone. Maybe now, maybe hex. No, Divine Shield again. And this is where it gets dangerous. Paladin cannot be touched right now. I think DNA needs to retreat. <laughs> Even though he does have the better hero levels. Imagine Spirit Link here. It would make such a big difference, but he made a big mistake losing his last Spirit Walker. But of course, this TC can die. He will come back with full mana, because thanks to his ultimate. Shriek is wasting a lot of damage on the Tauron Chieftain here. Avatar again. They're fighting so long, the duration of Avatar, the cooldown of Avatar, is completely erased at the moment. Oh, man. Holy Light, of course. He threw so many Holy Lights, I can't oh. even count them anymore. Last invulnerability has been used on the Archmage, which means after this Divine Shield is over, which is now, he may be able to kill the Archmage with a Hex on the Paladin. Holy Light comes in before he gets Hexed. Good decision by Shriek. <laughs> and these, these guys may just reach level 10 on all their heroes <laughs> yeah. because of all these summons. Now on the Archmage, Hex, where is the Hex? No Hex just yet. And now again Divine Shield. Okay, Storm. Torrent Chieftain dies. Oh my god, this could go on for ages! The thing is though, he has crazy mana regen, but it's not as much as he's using right now. Oh, he's going for the Archmage again. Holy Light yeah. again. He wants the Hex now, very very soon. Where's the Storm? <laughs> There's one Griffin. Oh, the Farseer needs to be careful, is there mana for Bolt? Only one Bolt remaining. But it may be really strong. Stump hits nothing with entirely. Oh, Archmage in trouble, Holy Light. What a range from this Holy Light. It's like a whole screen away. Oh, oh the final, yeah, final healing wave. And the Farseer, man, it's so close. It's so close. The Shadow Hunter still has the heal stone. He could swap this. Oh, Stormbolt, is it enough? Is it, it, it enough? Is it enough? He swapped it and he used oh. the heal stone. Oh my god. The heal stone. What a. Crazy game this is! Holy shit. Alright, this was pretty damn amazing. No comment! <laughs> yeah! It's a pet situation. Uh, what is this? What is this game? <laughs> Something else, I can tell you that. Oh, once again, it's summons versus summons. The Gryphon Rider will 
never die, it seems. And if they're both sitting at the Fountain of Health, it's gonna take even longer to yeah. do anything. Alright, Water Elementals keep giving free experience. Level 8 now for the Archmage, which is not really helpful. Blizzard is not good in these kinds of fights. <laughs> this is just nuts. Alright, this is still the same game, you know, you need to yeah. wait for the yeah. Divine Shield to cool down, then hex him and then either kill him yeah. or someone else. Otherwise, the Orc, there's no way for him to kill anything. Okay. And of course, the mana on the Shadow Hunter is really important. Speaking of which, he's really low on mana. USH is in problems now. But nice repositioning here. Here comes the Hex on all three heroes! This might be the chance! Hex on the Paladin! Focus fire on the Archmage! Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? Is this not the oh, <laughs> We forgot about the out. staff! Oh my god, and now the Shadow Hunter is in problems here! Is there another bolt? There is! But when? There it is! Killing the Shadow Hunter! <laughs> oh my god, leveling up! This gotta be it! This has gotta be it! Does he have some way to get more money? <laughs> he can he can sell all his items and that may be enough to get the Shadow Hunter. Uh it's one hundred and eighty for the orb. Oh my god. It's seventy five for the circuit. Uh, oh my god, he has enough gold, he says. He's selling everything. Three hundred and sixty six. How much is a level ten, ten. hero? <laughs> I have no I idea. Don't know. Well, he has 450 and it takes. I don't think he has enough. No, me neither. How much is missing? I would like to know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, please post it in the chat. How much is the level 10 hero in the Alsa? Oh, he's trying to find a creep camp to get the gold. Yeah. Or how maybe sad an, is this? Or maybe an item. Oh, how sad is this? And losing that one fucking spirit walker was his biggest mistake. I that don't think. I, I don't think this the uh, he would have been able to save the the walker even longer. The bolt is just, just too mighty. Yeah, just put it like use spirit link and then run the fuck away with him. You don't need him in the fight. Just use spirit link and run the fuck away. Okay, now he admits it. No more. Shadow Hunter, so this has got to be it, man. Shriek wins the game after almost 90 minutes. That's just nuts. <laughs> Honestly, I was not rooting for him. I was rooting for the orc. Yeah, me too. Lots of towers <laughs> hey, are always... Uh... What you gonna do? Oh my god, this is the best of three. <laughs> <laughs> That was, uh, towards the end, it was pretty damn cool. Yeah. Had its slow moments, though. Yeah, definitely, but, uh, amazing fights with, like, everything both uh, races has to offer. And, yeah, maybe a desperate try to win this with only two heroes, but he can't do shit. Oh, my God. Guys, what do you think? Was the wait worth it? And again, man, human hero combo, pretty damn strong. Yeah. Imagine this against uh, the undead. No chance against Paladin. This is it, GG, after 1 hour, 28 minutes and 42 oh. seconds. Shit, don't, don't close the thing, no, no, no. I accidentally uh, closed it. Uh, Gold loss to upkeep for Shriek, 17,800 for DNA, 20,000. Oh, not even that big of a difference, I'm surprised. But but gold mined for Shriek, 70,000. <laughs> for DNA, 42,000. And in the end, it was basically only heroes against heroes. So yeah. that was pretty damn cool, actually. This is Warcraft, man. You can... That was, that was pretty damn cool. Yeah. Heroes killed DNA 7, Shriek 2. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Units killed... Shriek 207, DNA 288. <laughs> Shriek didn't... Okay, I, I just uh, looked at the wrong thing. Largest army for Shriek? Ah, okay, he had the Inferno. Um, okay. Fire Sailor is saying the 10 hero is 550 gold. I think oh he had God. 546. <laughs> <laughs>
He was definitely he definitely had like 450 or 500, so I was really close. But even That's then, good. without a spirit walker, I don't think he can win this fight. Okay, you have uh, time now to jerk off to a spirit walker picture, and we'll do a small <laughs> small commercial break. Spirit.